Prince Harry and Meghan's surprisingly sweet move to ensure William doesn't overwhelm. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's projects reportedly do not overlap with Prince William and Princess Kate's. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are said to be paying attention to the work of Prince William and Princess Kate to ensure there is no overlap as the royal author claimed. Since Harry and Meghan stepped down as senior royals in 2020, they have embarked on their own projects, such as launching Meghan's new lifestyle brand American Riviera Orchard. We also recently announced a joint visit to Colombia later this year, at the invitation of the country's vice president, Francia Marquez. Royal author Phil Dampier told Fabulous magazine, that the Montecito-based duo have set up a rival court across the pond, but in a surprisingly nice move, they've made sure their projects don't match William and Kate's. Now that they've created this kind of competing court, they're obviously hoping things won't interfere with what William is doing, he explained. The royal author added, William, has got events with the Earthshot Prize that he takes part in in South Africa later this year, and Harry has of course also got the Invictus Games, as long as they don't directly conflict. In terms of dates, trying to score points off each other, and they are not competing directly in the same field, I think they can continue. It has been announced that the 2024 Prince William Earthshot Prize Awards ceremony will be held in Cape Town, South Africa. He explained that it was tragic that the couple were doing their own thing, noting that Harry and Meghan could have contributed to royal engagements after King Charles and Princess Kate were diagnosed with cancer earlier this year. He added that it may take some time until we see Prince George and Princess Charlotte making official engagements. Tentatively scheduled to take place in November, it is understood Harry and Meghan will head to the Colombian capital, Bogota, and the Pacific regions of Cartagena and Cali. Phil added, it sometimes feels like they're creating sort of an alternative royal court almost. And they're trying to be royal, when of course they're not actually royalty. Before the scheduled trip, the vice president said, I am delighted to announce that Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have accepted my invitation to visit our beautiful country. During their trip, the Duke and Duchess will join me in visiting Bogota, as well as the Caribbean and Pacific regions of Cartagena and Cali. In these vibrant locations, they will have an exceptional opportunity to connect with leaders, youth and women who embody the aspirations and voices of Colombians committed to progress. Also in the released statement, the Vice President added that she is confident the Sussex's visit will highlight Colombia's role as a beacon of culture and innovation.